My name is Dennis Herning, APSA, MPSA, and I'm from Billings, Montana. Here's a little information about me. You'll notice the letters after my name. These are recognition awards from PSA. The APSA is given because of past service to PSA. Some of this includes uh, being the past chairman of the Projected Image Division, Exhibition Standards Director for the Electronic Image Division, and Region Director for Montana and Wyoming. I was drafted for the implementation team that set up the Projected Image Division when EID and CPID were combined. I've judged for competitions from the club level to international exhibitions and also for the EID Image of the Year. I'm currently the director of the 365 Gallery, which uh, involves taking a different subject every day of the year. I'm also the administrator of a digital dialogue study group. What does all this mean? Not much, just that I've been around the block too many times. I would like to remind you that my comments on your images for this competition are just one person's opinion. Each of you might have your own opinion, but unfortunately for you, this is uh, in this competition, my opinion is the only one that counts. I will apologize for any mispronunciation of your names, and I will try to say the titles as they are spelled. With that out of the way, let's go on to the results of your contest. Now let's start with floral landing. The butterfly is nicely placed in the image. It appears that only its legs and antenna are reasonably sharp. I'm guessing that it was not holding very, or still very long since it appears that the wings are in motion. Try to keep your shutter speed as fast enough to stop that motion and stop down your aperture to increase the depth of field so you get the whole subject in focus. With insects, try to make sure that the eyes are included and sharp. 10 points. Sunny, snowy morning. I do like the contrast between the warm colors of the sunlit wood and the cool colors of the snow. The icicles add interest. To me, the bright sky draws my eye up and out of the image. The bright areas in the background are also distracting. You might try cropping in close from the right to get rid of some of the distractions, but you would uh, probably need to change your camera position so the darker background would take the place of the sky. 11 points. Out to sea. This was a good place to break the rule about putting your subject in the middle. The symmetry works out well and the lines lead you into your image. The clouds and big net give a somber mood. You might take one of those pelicans to sit on this and help your eye to stop at an interesting point. 12 points. Hook ends for nine pelicans. The background has been well handled and to take care of any distractions. The lighting is great. It seems to be unusual to me to see a crowd of pelicans in a bunch like this. I think that there might actually be too many. It seemed that there was a yellowish cast that could have been corrected with curves or levels, if, they, if you had that available to you. 12 points. Screams and smiles. The camera angle allows you to show a lot of riders. The flying hair really shows the action that is going on. Someone once told me to do a border patrol to see if there is anything that is distracting around the edge. In this case, I think I would crop off the partial face on the left. I might also have cropped some off the top to move your subject a bit higher in the frame. The girl in the middle could have used some dodging to brighten her face. You could also have stopped down your lens a bit more so that you could have had all the riders in sharp focus. 12 points. Pretty and blue. You have good exposure and good sharpness throughout your subject. I would like to see all the greenery cropped off the right side, and you might try reversing the image so it faces to the right instead of the left. Usually in our hemisphere, it seems more natural to read from left to right. 12 points. Honorable mention by John Eden. Mariana at Percival. Beautiful reflections in the calm water. Very nice lines which seem to be leading the eye to the cargo ship. I would also like to see the ship as a stronger focal point. You could have tried uh, moving to the left to try to close the empty gap between both sides of your image. You might have lost the front boat on the left, but not much of it is showing anyway. You would still have a lot of reflection of the back boat showing. 13 points. Third place by Ying B. Wan. House of Parliament in Budapest at night. 
I'm glad to see that you captured this while there were, you still have the blue light in the sky. It complements the lighting on the building very well. I'd rather not see the boat centered in front. You might have been able to either take it earlier or later as it passed this point. Uh, the way it is, uh, it seems to draw too much attention away from the building and its gorgeous architectural detail. 13 points. Second place by Nock Wong. Highway. The lines of the cable lead you into the frame very nicely. The higher buildings on the right side add to the interest of, by breaking up the symmetry of the composition with the pathway centered in the image. I would like to see more contrast to bring out the light areas of the cable. 13 points. First place by Katrina Christopher. Let's move on to the intermediate section. Zinnia family. You have a nice grouping of various blooms. Your main bloom is sharp and the background is handled nicely. I would probably crop off some of the vegetation that really doesn't add much to your subject. The color on the main zinnia seems to be quite muted. I don't know if that was the actual color or if it needed some brightening up to add some impact. 11 points. Spiral metal. Everything seems to be quite sharp. The off-center composition is good. I'm not sure just what I am looking at. I would like to see a definite subject being more dominant in the image. The lines lead to the circular area in the center, but to me, that seems to get lost with everything else that is going on. 11 points. Yummy street food. The lighting you have on the eggs is great. I don't think that I have had eggs cooked like this, so I don't know if it would be yummy or not. I would like to see all of the containers left side. This hot spot on the bottom does seem to draw too much attention away from, from the pot. 12 points. Fireworks over Dallas. Fireworks is nicely captured to show from the initial explosion to capturing the streaming afterwards. You have a good exposure that keeps the fireworks from burning out. I would like to see less of the black sky on the left side. 12 points. A street performer. You have good lighting on the performer and the shadows uh, naturally give you a lead in lines to the sax player. The subject has a dramatic posture with his instrument. The dark color of his clothing also nicely separates him from the background. I would like to see the subject be a larger part of the image. Using a longer lens if possible or cropping on all sides would have helped. 12 points. Gotcha. Good catch. The image is sharp throughout. You don't have any distraction in the background. I would like to see the mid-tones darkened to show the nice golden light that appears uh, to be there from the low sun's catch light in the eyes of the subjects. 12 points. Bird in Flight. If I hadn't seen the title, I might have missed the bird in this. The wind blowing the fireworks does give a nice feathery look to help uh, this look like flight is involved. You might try to increase the black area to the front and bottom of the bird so it would have more space around it. 12 points. Overcast. The clouds balance with the darker tones of the building with the window. The inset and angle do add interest. I would like to see contrast added by lightening the clouds so you have a full tonal range from white to black. 12 points. Ride him, Count Boy. You have great tonal range throughout the image. I like your low point of view. The monochrome treatment removes what is probably distracting color from the spectators. You might have tried to open up the lens a bit to, to help the horse and rider stand out from an out-of-focus uh, background. 13 points. Honorable mention by Debbie Connard. When I first saw this, I thought it was three pagodas. Since it is stacks of dishes, it is even more interesting. The lighting is well exposed. I don't know what the background is, but if it is night sky, I would have liked to see it at a time when there was a little light behind the dishes. 13 points. Honorable mention by Mary Jean Blevins.
Medieval castle. The dock provides a nice leading line toward the castle. The colors are great. The clouds in the sky give a nice background. If this could have been taken earlier in the day, the water might have been smooth and given you a nice reflection. A lower camera angle could have uh, moved the shoreline out of the middle. 13 points, third place by Karina Johnson. Poppy. It is tack sharp. I like the contrasting pastel colors. I would like to see the out of focus pedal in the front pull back uh, to remove it from the image and to show more of the interior of the poppy. 13 points, second place by Earl Snoga. With a tough looking, very nice portrait of whatever the critter is. I like the position of the head off to the left and looking into the frame. The lighting does show the texture well, even though it appears to be taken at what would not be the best time of day. The detail in the shadows is handled very nicely. 13 points, first place by Jack Quang. On to the advanced section. Thunderstorm rolling in. The cloud layers uh, lead the eye to the bright spot that I will assume is lightning and not the sun for my comments. It is hard to get much detail showing when a storm comes in after dark. It appears that you tried to increase the ISO to bring out detail in, in the dark areas. This gave you an excess of mounted noise, which could have been removed with some something like topaz denoise filter or some other filter. You would still have uh, burned out areas in the sky and the two areas that are lit on the shore. You might have tried a longer exposure at a lower ISO to see how that might have worked for you. Nine points. New technology, ancient steps. I like the way your subject is framed by the handrails and the steps. Her position with the white walls behind her is great. Composition is good. I would like to see the girl's entire body. I don't know if you could have moved up a step or held the camera higher without drawing attention to yourself so that you could have included the whole body. I might have done some dodging on especially her face to brighten it up. 12 points. Mount Wrangell at dusk, wilderness in Alaska. I really like the color and positioning of the clouds and the mountain tops. To me, the river in the front is a distraction that draws way too much attention. I think it would have worked if you could see the mountain's reflection in it. You might try cropping it off and make this a panorama. 12 points. Water skier. Great action shot. The background is nicely blurred to keep the any uh, competition away from your subject. You might have tried doing a little dodging on your subject to help separate him from the darker background. 12 points. Female ruby-throated hummingbird. Uh, just a little side note. Camera club I belong to has uh, t-shirts that say, I shoot hummingbirds with a cannon. Unfortunately, I don't see enough of them to have the shirt. I like that it uh, doesn't appear that you had a setup to catch this going into a flower when it is actually hiding a feeder, like so many people do. I'm sure that you plan to have the, the back wing framed by the greenery behind it. I like the catch light in the eye. You might have tried a faster shutter speed to sharpen up the wing action a bit more. Background behind the bird seems too bright and seems to draw too much attention. 12 points. Bolt. Very nice for such a simple everyday object. It is tack sharp throughout the entire image. The diagonal composition is a good touch. I've never tried it, but I wonder how this would be if you added a little hairspray to the mirror so the reflection wasn't uh, quite as sharp as your subject. You might do some more working with this by adding maybe a nut to the bolt or make it three elements uh, with a washer too. 12 points. Freeway to Dallas. The color in the clouds really adds interest to this scene. The horizon is well placed to include the clouds. I might try darkening the midtones to increase the contrast and help the lights of the traffic stand out more. 13 points. Paradise Harbor, Antarctica. The chunk of ice floating in the foreground with a touch of aqua really adds something to catch the eye of the viewer. You have a good depth of field throughout the image. 
I did notice that you probably straightened the horizon and forgot to clean up the white triangle going across the bottom. I would have uh, liked to see this taken just a little later after the boat had passed the ice. It would have filled the empty space on the right as well as uh, provided some balance to the larger ice on the left. I would be tempted to clean up the little pieces floating around, but that would depend on how you felt about altering reality. 13 points. Honorable mention by Carol Barlow. Fly over. This is an unusual position to capture the activity of an air show. At first glance, it seems like uh, this appears to be chopped up with four subjects, each merging with a border. But it is interesting how each partial piece of the plane almost seems to be the completion of the partial piece opposite it. I'm not sure if the clouds add anything or take away from the simplicity of the pattern formed by the planes. 13 points. Honorable mention by Randall Dunn. Faded Rose. I like the unusual view of your subject and the color that is shown against the black background. It makes a very nice low-key image. The white reflections in the stem are a little distracting from the overall dark feeling. 13 points. Third place by Nancy Mack. Grasshoppers. The subjects, the nasty grasshoppers, are nicely placed in the image. There are no distractions in the background and supporting items. I really like the effect that you have on the coloring. You might have had a touch more depth of field, so the distant legs were also in sharp focus. I would tend to think that this could be flipped over, but uh, that would just be my personal choice. 13 points, second place by Kathy Lynn. They say it rains only once a year. I really like the composition of the three windmills. The angling the same direction helps lead the viewer's eye through the image. I do notice what I thought was a halo effect from HDR around the closest windmill. When I look closer, I see that it was caused by an adjustment brush that had a hard edge on it, and it shows spacing along its path. This also shows in other areas. There are also some spots on the sensor that could have been removed. 13 points, first place by Lin Fen Huang. Stormy sunset. The lighthouse is a nice touch to a stormy sky. I would like to see it more dominant in the frame. The colors in the sky complement each other nicely. To me, they seem like they might be a, a bit overexposed. 11 points. Prowling puma. The cat is nicely positioned for you. The light doesn't work well for you, though. The midday sun from the front gives a very flat appearance with little depth. I would like to see your subject placed toward the right side so it is uh, moving towards the center instead of being right in the middle. 11 points. Stephanie. I like your hair lighting on Stephanie. The pose with her looking out of the image creates tension that goes with her serious look. I would like to see more contrast. I might uh, see if a, more of a sepia tone would work uh, better than what looks kind of like a peach or a salmon tone to it. 12 points. Running the rapids. Great action as it's sharp throughout. The raft is uh, positioned to make a very good composition. I would have liked to see the fellow riding this thing at a slightly different time of the ride so the water wouldn't have hidden his uh, face so much. 12 points. Rider at sunset. I really like your silhouette. I still, It still has enough light in the shadows to give some detail. I would like to see the rider moved out of the middle of the frame. With this kind of action, you might want to give her room to move into the image. 12 points. Ladder Company 10, NYC. This is an impressive mural on the doors. I like that you included the people walking by so it wouldn't be just a picture of someone else's artwork. I've mentioned this before, but I'd like to see room left uh, for something to move into. This would have been the case if they were captured when they were just uh, getting to the front of the other door. It seems like this has been oversharpened, especially around the people. 12 points.
Galapagos tortoise up close and personal. The head of your tortoise is very sharp. I like that you used an aperture that gave you a shallow depth of field to blur the background. I would uh, like to see some burning on the shell so the eye uh, would tend to be drawn to the head instead of towards the brighter shell. 12 points. Starry night on the farm. The farmhouse is a good accent point to the Milky Way. The gold from the tungsten lights complement the cool colors of the sky. It could use more impact. A simple adjustment with levels could really make an improvement. 12 points. Golden Koi. It looks like the cleanest koi pond I've seen. I like that it is in the sunlight and the gold is really highlighted. I like the pattern of the shadow on the of the lily pad, but I would have liked to have seen that shadow somewhere besides on the head of your subject. 12 points. Chicago Alley. Very nice monochrome image. You have complete tonal range from black to white. I like the leading lines that take the viewer's eye down the alley. I would like to see the people along the alley and walking along the sidewalk large enough to get enough attention so they could be your subject. 12 points. One Love in Black and White. Very nice monochrome. You have good tonal range throughout. Everything works well with your subject and the vaping smoke creates interest and helps make up for not being able to see the face. 13 points, honorable mention by Valerie Johnson. Girls on an Adventure. I like the backlighting you have on the girls. Background is very creative and it adds to the adventure. For some reason, I think of Alice in Wonderland when I look at this. I would like to have seen the back girl turned a bit more so her face would be in profile like the girl in front. 13 points, honorable mention by Lois Lehman. Sydney Fish Market, August 17. The bridge really helps make this. It is hard to keep a reflection from cutting through the middle, but the dark bed of the bridge helps keep this from being static. The composition works well. 13 points, third place by Linda Grigsby. Cypress in Summer. The greens and the calm water make for a very relaxing scene. The diagonal line of the trunks balance the trees with the water. I might get rid of the small patches of sky in the bottom right corner. Using a polarizer to darken the light pads on the water would probably cause you to lose the reflections, but you could try to tone those down with some burning. You might also try increasing the overall highlights a bit. 13 points, second place by Dennis Fritsch. I know it's cold. It's all right. The creek forms nice framing line for the horse and rider. The snow is not overexposed, so it still has detail in it. I like the bright yellow gloves and bedroll. That makes a nice triangle. The composition works well. In a perfect world, I would like to see all of the rider in the reflection. Very nice. 14 points, first place, and also your best of show by Ron Hastings. I would like to thank you for allowing me to judge your contest. There were so many great images that it was difficult to come up with the award winners. Thank you and keep up uh, your good work.